Hey, you have a minute? Um, Appa has someone for you to meet. This is Catherine. Remember Appa was telling you about her? Hi, um, Sweta? Cat. She can hear you. Oh. I'm Catherine. Nice to meet you. Sweta, I'm not trying to replace Sweta, I'm not. I'm not going to replace her. I promise you. Your favorite. Sweta, what do you say? You know what? She hasn't spoken a word to me ever since you introduced me to her. You do know she can't really. That's not what I meant. Listen, give us some time. Things like this takes time to heal, all right? But I feel like there's this huge distance between us. You know what? Let me go pick her up after school today. I thought we decided to let her come on her own terms. Besides, don't you have work today? I'm on leave. Okay. Fine. I don't think we need to force it on her, but if you want to go, knock yourself out. Okay? I'm late. Mm. Alright, see you. See you. Mm. Don't wait up for me. Hey, Sweta. I'm here to pick you up today. That's too nice. Okay. <sighs> okay. How do I do this? Sweta, get in the car. Now. Sweta, could you please come with me? Please? I'm trying to be your mom. Help! Look, you got this, Catherine. It's very simple. You got this. It's just a simple. Hey! to bully a helpless girl? Shame on you! Ah! Uh, you must be Miss Catherine. Uh, you are Sweta's stepmom. Mom. Mom is fine. Right, I'm sorry. What kind of school are you running here? Those kids were bullying her. Ma'am. Aren't you supposed to teach your students to respect each other? We donated a lot of money to your charity causes because of the personal care that we expect you to take of each individual child and not push my child away because she is different. Are you done, man? I know we've been having some problems with the kids around here. But with Sweta and her... Condition? She is mute, not dumb. Aren't you supposed to have tutors or teachers who cater to her, making sure she's properly taken care of? Ma'am, with all due respect, if you knew your kid well enough, 
we would be having a different conversation right now. What is that supposed to mean? Are you telling me how to raise my daughter? No, please don't misunderstand me, ma'am. What I'm trying to tell you is, your kid is not the one being bullied. She is the bully. What? trying to have multiple counseling sessions with her. It just seems like she's not responding well enough. Ever since her mom passed away, she seems to be more angry and more troubled than ever. It's normal for kids around her age to act out, to rebel, but she just seems... Well, she is smart. And if the situation in the house was better, maybe things could be different. So I would suggest as a stepmom, sorry, as a mom, you could try talking to her. So, you want to talk about it? Those kids were mean to you, is it? If they were, I can talk to their parents, or you can talk to me. It's not your fault. Look, people can be mean to you just because you're different. Look, I am not the bad person here. I'm just trying to understand you as your mom. We need to talk about Sweta. She's having problems at school now. Wait, what, what kind of problems are we talking about? I found her fighting with some kids. She punched a kid and gave him a black eye. <laughs> now that's my girl. Sanjay, don't encourage it. This is a serious problem. I think we need to be more strict with her. What? She was standing up for herself. I mean, what's wrong with that? Besides, I did not raise my daughter to be a pushover. Your daughter. You know that's not what I meant. I am her mom. You're not her mom. Let me make this very simple and very clear to you. Okay? You, you're not her mom. So stop trying to be one. You know, be her friend, be her best friend if you need to be. But just stop trying to replace How her mom. How could you? When I married you, I didn't just marry you. I married your family too. You told me that she could be our child when you found out that I couldn't have one on my own. Now you're telling me that I am not her mom and I cannot be her mom? That's not what I meant. Whether you like it or not, she is my daughter too. That is how I see it. And I don't care if she hates me right now. I want her to grow up to be someone who's strong and not a rebel. We are a team and we followed your way. Now we do it my way. Do whatever you think is necessary.
learning. Since you've decided to behave like an adult, time to be one. Come on, you've got a long day ahead. <clears throat> Guess who's washing their own clothes today? So, you know those dishes aren't going to wash themselves, right? Adults have a lot of errands to run. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Hi guys, nice to see you again. Hi. How are you doing today? We just went grocery shopping, so we're really starving. Great. Um, what would you like to order? Well... <sighs> Give us a minute. What is wrong with you now? She was just trying to take our order. Why are you being so stubborn? <sighs> Seriously, what is wrong with you? Can't you just behave like a normal girl? Sweta, behave yourself. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Stop it! Sweta, people are looking at us. Sweta, Sweta, you little brat! Do you just slap her? Are you crazy? Look, I panicked and people were staring at us. That is no excuse. Why don't you go talk to her, huh? See what she says to you, because she doesn't say a word to me. No, I'm fine, fine. What's wrong with you? You know, I've had it with you and your attitude. You better start behaving yourself and start listening to whatever Catherine has to say. You understand me? Hey, hey, hey stop it! Stop it, Greta! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I miss her too. Oh, this is so hard. Raising you all by myself is so hard. I'm not trying to replace Amma, okay? Okay? But you need someone like Amma. Someone that's going to take care of you. To talk to you about things that I can never talk to you about because... Because I'm not that kind of a father. When you're... When your mama was sick, we spoke about your future, and she loved you so much. We both do. But Shalom, mama's not here anymore. But Catherine is. And I know Catherine is not your mama. But to her, but to her, you are her child. It's just that she tries a bit hard. But maybe you can help her out, you know? She could use the help. Help her understand you. And maybe, just maybe you can understand her too. Hmm? Hey, look at me. I love you, okay?
Hey, hey Sweta. Before you go, I just want to apologize. I shouldn't have done that. I was just really stressed out and I shouldn't have taken it out on you. I'm sorry. I'm not your mom and I understand that. So, for now, can we just be friends? I'll wash all your coats and clean your room for you. Sweeta, tu mau awak ke? Kau faham ke apa yang dia cakap? Tak. Tapi dia pandai. Tu lah, nanti Mr. Raja marah pula. We just want to say thank you so much for watching my stepmom and I. You made it this far, so thank you. And also thank you so much for making Haikal a huge success. So we decided to make a sequel to Haikal, sort of a sequel. And if you want to watch more of these kind of stories, all you have to do is comment below, like, share, subscribe to our channel so that we know that you love this kind of content. And we will make more content like this if you just subscribe to us. That's all. Till then, see you in the next one. I'm Jivan, signing off. Oh